Aha! Hello everyone and welcome to Dr. Jankilo's lectures. Previously, I did cover the creatinine clearance equation and the body weight that we're supposed to be using for each patient. Today, we're going to go over two examples to better understand how to use this equation and the body weight as well. So, example number one says, a male patient who is 60 years old. So, a patient who is 60 years old and who is 5 feet and 7 inches, and the weight is 150 pounds and has a serum creatinine of 2 mg per deciliter. Is now in the hospital per the creatinine clearance. What is the dose for meropenem? So we need to calculate in this question the creatinine clearance to be able to dose meropenem correctly. And we, here we have two options. Option number one, if the creatinine clearance is basically above 50, then it's going to be 1 gram IV Q8, and then if it's between 26 to 50, which is less, then the dosage differences would be 12 hours instead of Q8. So, first of all, the step number one would be to calculate the ideal body weight. So, because this is a male patient, the ideal body weight equation, so ideal body weight equation, it's going to be 50 kilogram plus 2.3 times, and we have a multiplication over here, 2.3 times number of inches above 5 feet. And here we have 7. So times 7. So 2.3 times 7 is 16.1. Plus 50, this is going to be 66.1 kilogram. And this is the ideal body weight. Now, let's convert the pounds to kilogram in order to have the total body weight. So don't forget the conversion factor though. So for each one kilogram, there are 2.2 pounds. So we have 150 pounds multiplying by one kilogram over 2.2 pounds. So Pounds goes with pounds, and dividing 150 by 2.2, you should end up with 68.1 kilogram. And this is the total body weight. So, step number three is basically dividing the total body weight over ideal body weight in order to see where the patient is at. Is he underweight, is he normal weight, or is he obese? So. If we were to take so total body weight, dividing this over ideal body weight, and then multiplying by 100%. So from here, we have 68.1 kilogram over 66.1 kilogram. And then we do need to multiply by 100%. So, if you were to plug in this in the calculator, you should end up with 103%. And what we said from the previous lecture, if we have anything in between 90 to less than 120%, patient is normal weight. In that case, we do need to use ideal body weight. So, we'll use ideal body weight in this case because it's in between 90 to less than 120%. So now we know this, what we need to do is basically plug in the equation for creatinine clearance. So the equation says, so creatinine clearance, which is ml per minute, is 140 minus h in years, multiplying by weight in kilograms over serum creatinine times 72. And depending if this is a patient, a male or a female, we would be multiplying by 0.85, but this is a male, so we're not gonna be doing that step. 
So this is the equation for creatinine clearance. Now let's just plug in the number and solve for this equation. So, so we have 140 minus the age, which is 60 years old, multiplying by the weight, which we said ideal body weight over here, and that's over here. So 66.1 kilogram over serum creatinine, which is, where is it? Two milligram per deciliter times 72. So if you were to plug in this in the calculator, you should end up with 36.7. So 36.7 ml per minute. And this is the creatinine clearance for this patient. Now, Per this creatinine clearance, patient is between 26 to 50. Therefore, the dose of meropenem for this patient is going to be one gram IVQ12. So this is it for this question. Now let's move into question number two. Here we have a patient female. So it's really important to know this. 51 years old with this height five feet and four inches and weight of 102 pounds. Serum creatinine, one milligram per deciliter is admitted to the hospital and you are asked to dose levofloxacin. So patient has an infection or trying to dose levofloxacin and depending on the creatinine clearance, if it's equal or more than 50, 20 to 49 or less than 120, we will end up with these doses. So step number one is basically to calculate the ideal body weight. So ideal body weight for females is different than males. The difference is basically 45.5 kilogram plus 2.3 multiplying by number of inches above five. So we, here we have four. So 45.5 kilogram plus two plus 2.3 times 4 is basically going, plugging this in the calculator. We do this step multiplication first. Make sure to do this before adding the 45.5. And that's why I have a parenthesis over here. So you should end up with 54.7 kilogram. So this is the ideal body weight for this patient. Now, let's look at the total body weight. Step number two. So patient is... 102 pounds, and just like I said, we have the conversion factor, one kilogram equal to 2.2 pounds. So here we have, let's do it over here. So we have 102 pounds multiplying by one kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds. So pounds goes with pounds, and if you were to divide 102 over 2.2, it's going to end up with 46.3 kilogram. So looking at this right now, this is the total body weight. Looking at them, we can see that the total body weight is less than ideal body weight. However, we still need to do this step over here to determine that it's less than or equal to 89% so that we can determine patient is underweight. So let's do this. So we have Per this equation, the total body weight is 46.3 kilogram over ideal body weight, which is 54.7 kilogram, multiplying by 100%. So if we would uh, divide the total body weight over ideal body weight, so we should end up with, let's write it over here. So the answer for this would be, 84.6%, so it's 84.6%. So 84.6% basically it's less than 89%, which means patient is actually underweight. And when we, what we said in the previous lecture, when the patient is underweight, we're gonna end up using the total body weight. So this is where we're gonna end up using, so 46, 
46.3 kilogram is the weight we're gonna be using in the creatinine clearance equation. So now let's look up the creatinine clearance equation. So what we have over here, so we have 140 minus the age, which is 51, multiplying by the weight, we said we're gonna be using the total body weight. So over here we have 46.3 kilogram. Dividing this by serum creatinine, which is one times 72. And something that we need to focus on in this equation is that we have a female patient. In this case, we do need to multiply by 0.85. So don't forget this step. It's really, really important to determine if the patient is a male or female because with, when we have a male, we don't multiply by 0.85. When we have a female, we do multiply by that factor. So 0.85. So if you were to plug in this and solve for the creatinine clearance, you should end up with 48.6 ml per minute. So this is the creatinine clearance equation. So 48.6 ml per minute, it's right over here. Therefore, levofloxacin dosage for this patient, it's going to be 250 milligram Q24 hours. So, this is it for this lecture. I hope you have a better understanding on how to apply the creatinine clearance equation with the different weights and different gender as well. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching.